We've seen how to combine vector shapes by adding new ones, but it's also possible to duplicate existing shapes by selecting them and right-clicking to select Duplicate, or by pressing the shortcut Control or Command plus D. We can select the second star, then switch back to the Transform tool to move it directly in the viewer. Based solely on this duplicate, we can change its Boolean operation to intersect and get some interesting effects when moving this second shape. By testing different union modes, like difference, we can generate smaller shapes that'll appear and disappear when transforming this second shape. Remember that this combination creates and destroys these new shapes on the fly at the vector level. By just modifying the transform parameters, you can create really interesting shapes. Duplicating a generator without necessarily changing its parameters allows you to create these variations just by modifying the transform parameters. This makes it a very simple method for making dozens or even hundreds of shapes appear and disappear. You can see this a bit better by getting rid of the fill style and adding a stroke style with a thin stroke width. All of Autograph's animation features can be applied to shapes. For example, we can add a current time generator to the rotation parameter, which relays the current time in seconds into the rotation parameter. By modifying the multiplier value, you can create an animation that appears and disappears more or less quickly. Bear in mind that with every frame, Autograph calculates Boolean operations between these two shapes to generate new paths on the fly. If we create a project from two star generators, one a duplicate of the other, we can reduce the size of one of these stars, then use Boolean operations like intersect. There's a transform which applies to the path group, as well as a transform that solely applies to path 2. By changing the rotation value, we can easily simulate a sun with animated rays. Now all we need to do is unfold the fill style parameters to change the color to a more golden hue. We can modify the transform parameters to change the sun's appearance and the animation of its rays. Take some time to experiment with these techniques and explore a multitude of possible shapes. You can also change the number of points on one or both of these stars to create small rays within larger shapes. By working with these generators and combining them using Boolean operations, Autograph allows you to create very elaborate graphic elements in a very simple way. Take some time to freely experiment and you might just unexpectedly create some cool effects. In this video, we went over how to duplicate a path and a generator, combine several generators, and animate the parameters to create visually complex shapes.